Hey guys, this is Eric from BoostMDVideo.com. I wanted to make a video to show this new front fork mount for the GoPro that I have. It's made by a company called Ram, R-A-M. I'll put a link in the description below. Basically this mount is set up to bolt to anything that's uh, round, like a roll bar or a handlebar. In this case, obviously, I'm using my front fork. And the way it works, it basically I'll try to get in close here. And later in the video, I'll actually take it off and show you uh, how it looks off of the bike. It basically bolts uh, to the shock in this case with that hose clamp that you can see. That clear tubing is just something that I use to uh, basically protect the fork itself. The hose clamp is actually what's holding it on. Then it has kind of this double ball joint uh, that you can buy that piece right here in different lengths. I have the shortest one possible to try to reduce the lever arm effect since the GoPro is all the way on the end of it. Uh, but I'll show you uh, how this works. I'm going to have to put my microphone down, but hopefully you can still hear me. So there's a ball joint here, and there's a ball joint here. So it really helps in getting all the different uh, combinations of angles that you might want to get. This base plate actually bolts to this piece here. There's a bolt coming up this way and a bolt coming up this way. And that's how this uh, piece actually mounts to the base plate here. As far as the end of this, I'll take this off so you can see. I think you can see that in the video. Yeah, there you go. Uh, this ball joint here was made by the company with a special GoPro adapter on the end. So you don't have to use any special adapter to mount from the GoPro to the ball joint itself. It's all one piece there. It mounts to this piece the same way with a thumb screw, just like a GoPro mounts to anything. And this part just uh, basically tightens down with this thumb screw that you can see here. So I'll loosen it up, and you can see this piece eventually pops right off. And both sides... have a ball joint. So this goes in here and the other piece just goes on the end of this thing here. So this is how it looks without the camera mount on it. I'll come down here now you can see the hose clamp here and I'll cut out of the video and I'll take this off the bike so you can see what it looks like uh, taken apart. Okay I've taken the mounting screws off here from the base plate and I'm going to pull it off to show you. This piece just comes right off like that and this would go down here on the mount. And this is what the actual base plate looks like attached to the fork. Now I'll take off the actual hose clamp that holds it to the fork. Okay, now I've got the base clamp all apart. You can see this is the actual part that is clamped to the fork itself. And here's just a regular hose clamp with a piece of tubing around part of it to try to protect the fork. Whatever you're, basically whatever you're attaching to, in this case the fork, and I'll show you how it attaches to the actual fork itself. It just kind of goes around like this, and you can see how the tubing would be protecting the actual fork itself. The base clamp looks like this. Uh, you can see in profile that it's round here for mounting on basically tubes. This right here where my finger is is the part where the hose clamp goes through, and this right here is what the base of the ball joint attaches to. So basically what I did, took two screws like, let's get closer in here, I took two screws and put it through those holes. Then you mount this back bracket onto the base plate the ball joint clamp, and then whatever you're putting on the other side, in this case the GoPro. So that's kind of in general how it works. You can do it on any kind of surface that uh, has a rounded tube as a mount, and this is what I use to protect the fork itself. I actually put some electrical tape on there. What I would do if I did it again, which I'm going to do in a few minutes, is basically take a used inner tube and cut it and basically just put it around the fork itself. I think that would probably work better than electrical tape and it wouldn't let Leave any leave behind any residual from the tape. Okay, hope that helps. Now I'm going to cut to the video that I shot just from today to show you how the mount works. All right, go for it. See if this thing will record.
Nice one, man.